Hey everybody, Trev here from Norwood Sawmills. I want to show you our new digital scale that we've come up with for our manual up-down machines. So as you can see, it shows you digital increments of what you want to cut. So the lowest cut that this saw is capable of is 25 millimeter. So we'll start there. So what this is referenced to is it shows you how far that blade is off of the bunk. So right now, bottom of the blade, top of the bunk, 25 millimeters in between, okay? So let's say we're gonna open up a log. So we're gonna bring this up to a common number, around 300 millimeters, something like that. So we'll bring this up. We'll get to 300. Okay, so now this is where we wanna open up our log. So a lot of the time when you're opening up the log, there's a couple of stray boards there that you wanna get. The problem is, is there's no reference to your scale, so you're constantly trying to guess is what actually is an inch and what isn't an inch. So what you can do is you take this, once you see these little arrows, where actually this number represents how far we've come up, so it's minus that 25 millimeters off that we had in the beginning. You can zero this. Now, if you want to take a one inch board, you can come down to 25 millimeters which is equivalent to the one inch, but we're actually 25 millimeters or one inch. There's no kerf included, okay? So we gotta go an extra two millimeters to account for the blade thickness. So you'd go to 27. Now you could go ahead and actually get a true one inch or 25 millimeter board off of that. And then it could just keep going from there. So if you wanna do it again and you want another 25 millimeter board, you could zero this out and then just repeat that step. Come back down to 25. 27 in, with which includes our blade thickness and then you could go ahead and reset that now what about if you want to do a, a, a 40 millimeter board then you just simply bring this down to 40 millimeters so you come to 40 and again you got to remember if you actually want 40 millimeters you got to add two because your blade's going to take two mil 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 millimeters out of there when you're cutting cool and then uh, you can go ahead and make that cut. Okay. Always keeping reference to how much is left underneath the blade. So you can always see how much you have left remaining for your, your next cuts because you're always thinking forward as to what you're going to have next. So hopefully right. that'll help you out and uh, make sense for you. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you.